Don't be cheap, Kim. We need the branding on the box at least. This piece of paper isn't cutting it. Ooh, yeah, this is burning. This is already on the light, cheap plastic side. You can hear it too. This weighs nothing. Look at this. Who's still using harsh scrubs on their face? Oh, I think it just cut me. I don't want to be hearing this when I paid $90. This is literally peeling off of my face. And let's see how much we have in here for $85. Well, my loves, we meet again. This one is gonna be good. Why do I say that? Well, I got two packages. My second one already arrived. I first bought a ton of stuff from the Skin by Kim. And I said, oh, why didn't I get the exfoliator? I went back and got the exfoliator. And here is what it looks like. Beautiful photo of Kim. Eco-friendly, compostable interior, which I think is amazing. But I take it out and for $55, this is already on the light, cheap plastic side, okay? So we're gonna start there. Hey loves, it's time the infamous. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, my mind is going in a million different directions. If you're new to my channel, my name is Time of the Infamous. I've been a beauty influencer for over 10 years now. I am also a pro makeup artist. I also went to esthetician school. I've been doing this for a long time. I am unfiltered. I'll let you know if I love it. I'll let you know if I don't love it. I'm not affiliated with the brands when I review them, so I am able to give you my honest, truthful opinion, and that is why my fans and followers love me. So, today I'm gonna tell you what is worth it in the Skin by Kim range and what is not. Now, when I go into these reviews, I have an open mind. I spend my own money on this and I want to love it. I'm a huge fan of Kim. I'm wearing the Skims dress now. I buy all of her stuff and I'm just truthful. Do I love it? Do I not? Now, I don't think this review would have started like this if I didn't already feel this, you guys. And you can hear it too. Like literally, this weighs nothing. Like she is hitting into the high end skincare range with this. Oh, another thing too about me, I am not the expensive skincare hater. My toner, $90. My face cream, $170. These, $65, $70, $80, okay? Now, as you can see, can you hear that? Glass, glass, Chanel Lay Lift. I cannot tell you how heavy this is. Oh my gosh, this literally, this cardboard box and the lid of her exfoliator is literally the same weight. Now, it is one thing to want a high-end look and try to make something look expensive that is a little cheaper. Completely fine, I understand that. But at these higher price ranges, and also too, by the way, let's see. Okay, for $55, this is how much product you're getting. The all-nighter spray, just so you guys have an idea. $55 for this little exfoliator, I don't know. You guys, look at this. And now she's manufacturing with Cody who develops CoverGirl. Come on, man. They, drugstore companies, are known to cut their overhead slash the shipping weight. I kind of feel like off of the basis of this, I'm just feeling like they already are getting over on me a little bit. I'm hoping the product is amazing, but I mean, come on. Cody is a multi-billion dollar brand. Alginus, Chanel, same here. Multi-million dollar brand, billion dollar brand. When you're charging this price, 
you're not worried about the weight. That is what we're paying for. So I'm a little upset about that right off the bat. Now, one thing I will say, the spatula it comes with is very, very nice. This is the nicest spatula I've ever received out of my high-end skincare. Most of the ones you get are just thin, plastic, etc. So I do like that. Next, let's go into my large order. Shipping, very fast. Website, beautiful, flew through it. Here's the inside. I think this is a different photo. Another thing too, high-end luxury brand. Don't be cheap, Kim. We need the damn branding on the box at least. This piece of paper isn't cutting it. You guys, I have manufactured my own makeup line. I know the costs that go into it. I know all these little things. Actually, hold on. You guys, look at this packaging. Holographic, branding, branding, full color, everything, right? Here's the palette, hand-dyed vegan silk. If I can do this, Cody, we can get some damn branding on the box right here. Okay, that's for one. Again, love the eco-friendly aspect. Ooh, here it is. Ooh, here's the toner. I do actually like her packaging. Consumer waste is a huge issue today. I think that it's great that they're doing this type of eco-friendly packaging. And unlike another review I did, her fans came for me, got so upset because her packaging was very thin and flimsy. For trying to say, oh, it's eco-friendly. She said it's eco-friendly. No, this is eco-friendly, okay? Thick metal design elements on there, on the bottom as well. I think this is awesome. I love the packaging. The star player for me in this lineup, and I'm gonna be real with you guys. At first, I was only going to get one item. I just feel like in today's market, skincare is not about a full set. It's about each individual curated products that people absolutely love. As a regular consumer, and even though I love Kim, if I did not have to do this review, I would not have got all these products. I would have got this one product, and that is the night oil. The key to anti-aging is oil on your skin. This is what it looks like. When I'm touching it, it sounds very hollow. It's very light, feels cheap. This night oil is $95. One thing I will say about oil is that I went and looked at these ingredients and I was very impressed. There is sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, apricot kernel oil, which apricot kernels cure cancer. I use apricot oil on my entire body. Their sunflower seed oil, rosemary leaf extract. I think like 12, 13 different oils in here. So that was very impressive to me. Okay, now the cleanser has some weight to it. I love that. Everything should have been around the same weight. Okay, so I have my bowl of water here. We're going to start with the cleanser. Oh, let me give you guys a close up. Ooh, super exciting to have the set and these two. I think the aesthetic, the design is beautiful. Once again, just like the Skims logo, Kanye did design the skin logo and overall the aesthetic as well. Kim said herself, Kanye came in, saw the color she was using and was like, no, this is not it and redesigned it. So I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now these two large items are very heavy. If you only got these, you would have a great representation of the skincare line. If you got these smaller items, you would be like, what is this cheap stuff? You feel me? Like the cleanser is $43 and it contains one of my favorite products in skincare that I've only seen one company use. 
And that is Chanel and that is alfalfa. 17% alfalfa, which Kim, why were you not promoting that? Do you guys know what alfalfa does? It is a hero product that actually acts as a natural retinol, which is the only product that can remove lines on your skin. It also contains aloe vera, which is, ooh. Do you guys see the consistency of that? How that is, it's like very stringy. Ooh, nice. This actually feels like a gel face cream. Oh, oh wow. Oh my gosh. I am impressed. Wow. Okay, they claim that this leaves the skin hydrated for two hours after rinsing. Now that is a huge claim to me. If your cleanser is able to hydrate your skin for two hours after, you're doing something right. Feeling very tight and dry. Oh my gosh, you know what? This feels like oil-based. If you've used the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream, that is what this feels like. Wow. This cleanser is amazing because Kim said that this does remove your makeup. And I'm like, oh, that's hard to do. But with this oil base, I can totally see that. Oh my gosh, <gasps> my skin is so soft, you guys. Love it. Okay, let me hurry up because I need to be leaving for yoga in 40 minutes. Next up is the toner. Retails for $45. I don't think that's too bad. The cleanser 43, a little high. Toner 45, that's okay. Feeling good, the products are working good so far. Oh, this is a twist off cap. Ooh. Some people put their toner in their hands and press, that's fine. For my skin, because I have acne prone skin, I have to use a gentle cotton pad so that I can remove my dead skin cells to keep my skin clear. The reason I really wanted this is because it contains AHAs and that is going to gently exfoliate your skin daily. A super popular one is Paula's Choice, but I did feel like that one was a little too harsh for me. No smell, I do have sensitive skin, it is not burning and usually I get very red in here. It's not making my skin red or irritated oh you guys I have notes in my phone also too because I did my research so I could let you guys know the real deal it also has fruit enzymes and niacinamide and salicylic acid so if you are acne prone wanting to clear up your acne this toner is going to be for you I will say it's just a little tiny bit sticky oh shoot I did not use the exfoliator Okay, you guys, well, I have to try it. I mean, hello. So, again, oh, I just wish it was heavier. Oh, this smells so good. This is what it looks like when you open it. I'm gonna wipe my skin down from the toner. You wanna make sure that your skin is wet when you're doing an exfoliator. We definitely wanna use our spatula. Very interesting texture. Very oil based oh and also too it smells like roses because it does contain rose extract a chemical and physical exfoliator just gonna add a little water there oh oh yeah this exfoliator is not for me oh the thing about oh yeah I can, I, you know, these type of exfoliators can cause micro tears in the skin. And that is a huge no. Over time, your skin is going to look very aged, especially having sensitive skin. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's kind of burning for me. Now, ooh, yeah, this is burning. 
If you are new to skincare, you have very thick, harsh skin, or like my boyfriend, you know, men, you could use this. But for one, you guys, I'm having to do it so slow so that I don't cut my face. I just feel like who's still using harsh scrubs on their face? Like, didn't they learn from St. Ives scrub? This is so early 2000s. Like, go to the slumber party and like your mom is putting on the face mask mask you guys like I literally cannot oh I think it just cut me oh it just hurts you know like I would use this on my knees my feet you know what I'm saying I would not ow 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 you guys and I'm not over exaggerating the scrub is literally hurting my face this contains pumpkin enzymes which Peter Thomas Roth has a similar pumpkin enzyme mask and literally he knew not to put exfoliators in that because you do not need it. Pumpkin enzymes is a very strong natural exfoliator on its own. It will turn your cells over by itself. I feel like she was maybe scared because it's rare that you have a physical exfoliator with a chemical exfoliator. That means that people who are not into skincare, if they were to put it on and not feel a scrub, they would feel like it's not working. So I wish she did no scrub and educated us on that so that, you know, we could exfoliate in a safe way. And the way you have to make sure all these tiny particles are off of your skin is just ridiculous. There's always some left over. So I hate that. Quickly just do a quick run over my skin with the toner. Okay, next up, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Looks like this. Yeah, I don't want to be hearing this when I paid 90 damn dollars for a hyaluronic acid serum, which is only one fluid ounce. Girl, you're gonna have to do a little half squeeze because doing those squeezes, they want you to use up all your product and keep coming back to buy. So be careful with that. Mmm, it has like a very, very, very light rose petal smell. My favorite hyaluronic acid serum is by her sister, Kylie Skin. I absolutely love this. If you want that glowy, wet, glass, clean girl summer skin, this one is amazing. Now, I don't get as much of a glow from Kim's as I do Kylie's. Hyaluronic Acid Serum is going to give hydration. They say that this one locks in moisture for 72 hours, so. But I am noticing my skin is very calm. It kind of reminds me of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It has a little bit of stickiness, not in a very bad way, a very thin layer, so I think that could help with putting on your makeup. Ooh, we have the face cream, the night oil, and the eye cream left. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, one of the samples, which I think is great that they already have samples. So this is the eye cream. This has plumping peptides, which I'm all for. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, you guys see how my finger's just gliding? It's very beautiful, very thin. Just is reminding me of a super hydrating water-based moisturizer. Kim said that she wanted to have a thin eye cream that she can put under makeup. It kind of reminds me of like the Le Mer gel cream. Oh, and also too, the eye cream. That's why I didn't get the eye cream, girl. Why the hell is the eye cream $75? I don't know something that small in skincare that I've paid that amount for. That, that one felt like a little bit of a ripoff to me. So I, I remember now why I didn't get that. Okay, next we have 
the cute little face cream. The face cream is $85. This is light as hell as well. And let's see how much we have in here for $85. Kimberly, <gasps> this is it for $85? Okay, wait, my Chanel is 1.7 ounces and Kim's is 1.6 ounces. So maybe, you know, they do kind of trick you with the packaging. And this has lasted me for a very, very long time. Okay, maybe, you know, it's just when you see it like this without the packaging, it could be shocking. <gasps> Ooh, this looks luxurious. Now you do not need a lot of face cream. I'm only gonna start with that much. It is unscented. Ooh, oh, <gasps> ooh. You only need a little. It feels again kind of, now I do need a little more than that though. It feels a little bit like it has that oil feel. It's very, very shiny. Can you guys see that? That's a very good sign. That means that it's very emollient. A lot of like moisturizers you'll get, they'll look kind of matte. You want it to be very shiny. You know what? It's reminding me a lot of my milk vegan milk moisturizer. It is definitely doing something. It's thick. It kind of has that oil feel. I can see with Kim, she's into anti-aging. This is going to wrap around your skin and keep you hydrated, especially here in Vegas. Girl, I need as much moisture as I can get. Okay, I like that. $85? I'm feeling around 70, 70. Now, the other sample I have is the C8 serum, which you're only supposed to do either that or the hyaluronic acid serum. They say to use the C8 serum in the daytime, which is vitamin C. Me personally, I do not believe in that. The last time I put on a vitamin C serum and went out in the sun, it gave me discoloration. I don't like doing very strong active ingredients in the sun. Um. So I would even do that at night. But either way, our last product, oh, the night oil. I'm really, really excited for this. This is $95, $95 for this for only one fluid ounce. I don't know you guys, but let's see. Ooh, it splashes a little. I did like, ooh, let's see. I warm it up in my hands. Then I just press. You just want to press it in. Oh my gosh, I love oils. Well, okay, correction. I love oils, but my skin doesn't super love oils because I do have an acne prone skin type. So, uh oh, you guys, that's my alarm to leave for yoga in 10 minutes. So let me hurry. My acne prone skin, uh-oh. We have some peeling going on. Hmm, kind of like, you know that like Huda Beauty enzyme, uh-oh. You guys, this is literally peeling off of my face. <gasps> Can you guys see that? There have been people who have said their face cream was peeling off of their face, rolling off. <gasps> My whole face is peeling right now. Do you guys see this? <gasps> That's not good. That's a really bad sign. Ooh! And at this price point, ooh, it shouldn't be doing that. You guys can kind of see it there all on my finger. So I wonder if it's the face cream. <gasps> if other people are saying it was the face cream, maybe it is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you can see it all over. Oh no. <gasps> Ooh. 
I don't know what is causing this, but let's say for example, it is the face cream. I would be okay taking that out of the routine. One thing I will say, looking at my skin other than the peeling, look how hydrated and beautiful it looks. The vitamin C8 serum, that's gonna lighten up these dark marks. You can see the luminosity everywhere. And here, now that I'm closer, let me give you guys some close-ups. This is what it looks like. Now the only bummer is that everything's gonna kinda get oily, like the packaging. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to go. I cannot be late to my yoga. Here's the cleanser. So let me do the recap of my final thoughts. Skin by Kim. I'm gonna just go through really quick and tell you what you need and don't need. Cleanser, yes. A1, absolutely adored the cleanser. Toner, yes. Thumbs up, A1, absolutely adored the toner. The exfoliator, ah! If she were to remove these harsh plastic small beads out of here, and truth be told, they didn't even feel like beads like rounded. They felt like sharp. I love the scent. I think everything should have smelled like this. I loved the consistency, like with the oil in there. So for me, no. And if you have sensitive skin, acne prone skin, I would say no. Ooh, hyaluronic acid serum. I didn't not love it. I just wasn't in love with it. I like the Kylie one a little better. It's a little more watery and allows my skin to breathe and plump and glow just a little bit more underneath it, I feel. Let's see, how much is this? Ooh, 90. <sighs> I'm gonna have to give this more time. Out of the two, I would go with the Kylie. Ooh, the night oil. Oh, do you guys see my skin? And another thing I like too, it's like a thinner oil than other oils I've tried. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna put, ooh, the only thing I do wish this was like a dropper because this is like just, you don't have a lot of control. I'm gonna put this on my chest. Oh, look at that, beautiful. And it's not just like a cheap oil or anything like that. I can really tell that this was formulated well. It's not thick, it's not thin, it's not irritating. It's not like greasy looking, it's more of that glow from within vibe. And I am loving this. The eye cream. I actually really like the eye cream. I'm gonna have to give that one more time. I loved how it felt though. It did feel like something was there. It didn't feel cheap. Ooh, even coming back to it. Oh, that feels good. Next, the face cream. I don't know, Kim. You may wanna look into this because me and others are saying we had that peeling issue. I'm not sure what ingredient does that, but if it did not peel, I do, I really like this, but it's reminding me exactly of the Milk Vegan Moisturizer, which I love. So I do feel like I have a dupe for this, but I'll keep trying. Let's see, and that is it, you guys. I have to get going. I hope you love this review. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. More vlogs are on the way and the next video is the furnished house tour. Then after that, I have a super fun vlog for you guys. So look out for it. I love you guys and I will see you guys later.